Okay, everyone, quiet on the set. Stand by for NASCAR Country, coming down in three, two, one. Hi, I'm Paul Shad in the Charlotte studios of the fastest show on radio, NASCAR Country. This weekend, as the country pauses to celebrate the Thanksgiving holiday, we at NASCAR Country also give thanks to the fans, the listeners, the sponsors, and our families. And on this holiday edition of NASCAR Country, we welcome driver Lake Speed with a special appearance from former Winston Cup champ Benny Parsons. Stand by, satellite down. Nashville is online and holding. And I'm Kathy Martindale from the home of country music, Nashville, Tennessee. Today's special country guest has a voice that is instantly recognizable, a remarkable baritone that has been described as one of the best voices of our time. He first broke onto the music scene in 1983 and has continued making hits since then. And on this holiday edition of NASCAR Country, we'll spend a little time with John Anderson and hear some of the tunes from his new CD called Taking the Country Back on Mercury Nashville. Stand by, digital audio link. There's no race in this weekend as all of the NASCAR champions have been crowned, but there's plenty of action on this Thanksgiving NASCAR Country show. The green flag is in the breeze as we thunder down the front stretch on Food Lions NASCAR Country. Music from the fast lane on Food Lions NASCAR Country. I'm Paul Shad in our Charlotte studios with Winston Cup driver Lake Speed. And Lake, welcome to NASCAR Country. Let's get right into it. You know, it hasn't been a championship type season for you, but still, you guys got a heck of a lot to be thankful for. Oh, for us, we're extremely pleased to have been able to run as much as we did. You know, there's not very many uh, Winston Cup teams that, that can say they ran... Uh, the majority of the season uh, and with a competitive race team and a competitive car without a sponsorship. And I, I give the Mellings uh, a lot of credit for hanging in there with us and giving us a, the limited support that we had to be able to, to go to most of the races. You know, there's a few that we just flat just had couldn't do during the middle of the season there. The uh, things just looked bleak. But once uh, things the negotiation started with the Cartoon Network for 98, then that really gave them the hope to finish out the rest of the year. And darn, as soon as you got one for 98, it seemed like then the Advantage Camouflage people came along to help us out for the rest of the year to run the last five or six races with. And so that's been a real blessing to us. But all in all, the the Melling uh, team is just, you know, the guys have hung together. I mean, I really expected a day that I walked in the shop and told those guys that the Nebraska thing had blown up and had gone away. I really expected them to see them start pushing their toolboxes out the door and hunting a job. And when they all to the man told me, look, we're not going anywhere unless you run us off. We believe in this team and we believe in what we're doing and we're here to fight it out, you know, and those guys have hung tough and continue to give us really good race cars, and uh, dang, you know, we've, we've accomplished an awful lot. It may not be the victory as far as uh, statistics go, but we've we sure had a, a moral victory in, in this 97 season. All right, like you said, tight, we've got more with you, plus a special appearance by Benny Parsons coming up. Right now, though, the countdown kicks off with Trace Atkins and the rest of mine debuting at number 10 on NASCAR Country. The most fun at less than 200 miles per hour, NASCAR Country. Hi, everybody. I'm Kathy Martindale in Nashville with this week's guest, Talking Turkey, with John Anderson, the cornerstone of country music. <laughs> My goodness. How are you doing, Kathy? Doing great. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Same to you. What you guys up to this weekend? Oh, cooking turkey and dressing and mm. uh, staying around the house with the family, just enjoying a great time. So you're pretty traditional with your Thanksgivings, huh? Actually, I'm real traditional, yeah. yeah. You oh, want the dressing I, and... I like it all. Now, now you're you're a guy that likes to go out to the ocean a lot. Do you like the oyster dressing or the cornbread dressing? Just the cornbread dressing. There you go. Me. But I do like oyster dressing, but my favorite is the cornbread. And the cranberry sauce. Oh, and, yeah. Well, let's just go through your menu turkey. here. Let's just, yeah. <laughs> Green beans, mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. and corn from the garden. Mm -mm -mm. All kind of, uh, yeah, stuff from the garden. Really, you've got a lot of things to be thankful for this year, John. You've got uh, a brand new record label and a new album. Yes, indeed. And we're proud of, uh, proud of our new album and certainly happy to be with the folks at Mercury Records. Uh, Luke Lewis and all his staff are just great people to work with, and we're happy to be over there. Yeah, and here's a song off the new album that has really gotten a lot of attention around the country. A lot of people call up and uh, want to dedicate it to their boss, and <laughs> it's just a fun, feel-good song. Somebody slap me. 
we'd ride down the road you know and we'd have truck drivers uh, come on the radios and you could hear them, somebody slap me uh and actually the fans turned out at the shows uh it almost became like a sing-along thing where they'd uh, when we'd stop they'd all holler somebody slap me well you did well with it well thank you getting a lot of attention here's john anderson with somebody slap me on nascar country Music from the fast lane. This is Food Lions NASCAR Country. That's our Nashville guest this week, John Anderson. He'll be back with Kathy a little later in the show. I'm Paul Shad in Charlotte with this week's edition of the NASCAR Notebook. Nine of the biggest songs, plus info on how you can be a NASCAR Country winner and details about a brand new promotion you're going to love. It's all coming up on NASCAR Country. NASCAR Country. Uh, sir, I notice you seem to be in a hurry. Our pit crew. Oh, a NASCAR guy, huh? Yep. So you like things to happen fast. Uh-huh. So you come to Food Lion because... They're fast. What makes them fast? They only have what I need. There's no electronics department. No electronics? Wife wrote me up a list, see? No stereo speakers, no jewelry, no video rentals. I need detergent, green beans, and bacon. Right, so Food Lion gets you in and out quicker because... They don't waste my time with aisles of stuff I don't need. I need bacon, I find bacon. Hmm, I see. That's probably why they're the official supermarket of NASCAR, the Speedy Service. And you're a big fan of Speedy Service. Do you know any slow pit guys? They're looking for work. My point exactly. Hold on. <laughs> wow, fixed that wheel pretty fast. Almost beat my previous record. So for a speedy guy like you looking for extra low prices on all of your favorite NASCAR brands, this is the place. If it's good enough for NASCAR, it's good enough for me. Bacon. Oh, got it. <laughs> Food Lion, where NASCAR shops for groceries. I'm Kathy Martindale in Nashville. Keep listening. Paul Shad has details about a brand new promotion coming up on NASCAR Country. Music from the fast lane, NASCAR Country. I'm Paul Shad with the NASCAR Notebook, brought to you by AC Delco, proud sponsor of the AC Delco Challenge Series. AC Delco, we don't just race, we win. Well, there's no on-track news this weekend, but there is track news. Major changes have been announced for Sears Point Raceway. A new straightaway called The Shoot will be built, which connects current turns four and seven. There will also be new seating and better views of the start-finish line. Also out west, the Winston West Series will get more sponsorship dollars from R.J. Reynolds in 98. Well, it's Thanksgiving weekend, and here at NASCAR Country, we'd like to thank you for listening to the stations for their support and to our sponsors, a hearty thank you. And remember, it's the time of the year when radio stations look at what programs to carry next year. Take a minute, call or write the program director of the station you're tuned to now and tell them thank you for their support of NASCAR Country. And also, before we go, congratulations to John Newman of Portsmouth, Virginia, who won the Food Lion Stars, Cars, and Cash Giveaway Grand Prize of $100,000 and a trip to next week's Winston Cup Banquet. We'll have more news next week here on the NASCAR Notebook. I'm Paul Shad. Thanks, Paul. Food Lion's NASCAR country turns another lap with this week's number nine song from John Michael Montgomery. The most powerful two hours on radio are here on Food Lions NASCAR Country. I'm Paul Shad, and you should stick around. We'll have the details on how you can be a NASCAR Country winner and the eight biggest songs, plus a special appearance by Benny Parsons. Baby, don't look back. Keep moving straight ahead. Get all those pretenders out of your head. When it comes down to fun, when it comes down to thirst, there's only one number one in the universe. Nothing else is a Pepsi, nothing else has a clue. Nothing else is a Pepsi, it's the choice for me and you. Nothing else is a Pepsi, anytime, anywhere. Nothing else is a Pepsi Man, it's not even fair Nothing else is a Pepsi Nothing else is a Pepsi Nothing else is a Pepsi 
Need a performance spark plug for everyday driving? Try AC Delco Rapid Fire Premium Performance Plugs. Their revolutionary electro design means up to 18% quicker throttle responsiveness, 27% smoother idle in gear, and faster, more consistent startups in all weather. AC Delco Rapid Fire. The performance difference is in the electrodes. Find AC Delco Rapid Fire and other quality products at all pro and bumper to bumper auto parts stores. Welcome back to the NASCAR Country Show. Fast cars and hot country music. Food Lions NASCAR Country. Hi, I'm Kathy Martindale in Nashville with Paul Shad in Charlotte. And this is the latest from Martina McBride called A Broken Wing. The most fun at less than 200 miles per hour on Food Lions NASCAR Country. I'm Paul Shad in Charlotte with 1973 Winston Cup champ, ESPN race analyst. He's Benny Parsons. Welcome to NASCAR Country. Well, thank you very much. It's great to be here. Benny, you've been retired from behind the wheel. You've made quite a career in broadcasting, but every once in a while, we'll spot a sign in the infield that says, Benny, come eat here. <laughs> <laughs> Benny, what'd you have for Thanksgiving? You know, a lot of folks, I'm 55 years old, and a lot of folks say, well, why did you quit driving? Why don't you get back in those race cars? Folks, I can't get back in those race cars. You know, I've, I've just eaten myself right out of that job forever and ever, so i got to hang on to this TV and radio stuff because, uh, uh, yeah. What did I eat for Thanksgiving? Well, let's see. A little turkey and cranberry sauce. Oh, I love cranberry sauce. And, you know, English peas. A lot of folks don't like English peas, but I do. Candied yams, a few rolls, mm. and then some good pecan pie for dessert. Yeah, that's the traditional Thanksgiving fair. Benny, fair to say that you've seen a lot of changes over the years. And what would you say was the one biggest change that you've seen in Winston Cup racing? Money. It's very simple money. Again, that's a it's a stupid answer. Well, and the fans said, well, a lot of things have changed. But, folks, I mean, this year, how many drivers won over a million dollars in their career? Over me, I remember in 1963, Freddie Lorenzen had a fantastic year, set the money record one, $113,000. Money is just incredible, the amount of money that the drivers can earn today. And But thank God. You know, thank God I don't have to sit and read in the newspaper or listen to TV and, and radio folks talk about basketball players making all these millions and football and baseball making all these millions and think that a race car driver has to do it for $10,000 because now – they are earning some serious money. Okay, Benny, we're not only serious about racing, serious about the music, too. Here's Ty Herndon, his latest called Love Too Much on NASCAR Country. Hi, this is Michael Peterson. And thanks for listening to my latest song on NASCAR Country. Holding steady at number eight this week for Michael Peterson on Food Lions NASCAR Country. Hi, I'm Kathy Martindale, bringing you NASCAR Country each weekend. More with this week's special guest, John Anderson and Lake Speed is on the way. And seven more of the biggest country songs still to come. But now it's time for this week's Nashville Quick Fact with Al Winter. Brought to you by Food Lion, the official supermarket of NASCAR. Thanks, Kathy. Some extra Christmas cash in the pockets of Winona and Naomi. They were part owners of a restaurant that folded. You remember that? Well, somebody finally bought the place, and it was costing them something like 12 grand a month just sitting there empty. A little racing schmooze talk heard during the opening of the NASCAR Cafe a week or so ago. Word is that the Dover Down Gaylord Broadcasting Partnerships bought something like 1,200 acres near Nashville for a super speedway. And that's just a sample of what's going on on Music Row. I'm Al Winter, and I'll have the rest of the Nashville Notebook next hour on NASCAR Country. All right. I'm here to talk to you about film, 35 millimeter camera film, specifically new Kodak Gold Max self-adjusting film. It lets you take great pictures in bright light, low light, fast action, no action, and even zoom. So say you have a 12 picture roll. You can take one picture in daylight, twilight, flashlight, sunlight, your brother running, your sister sprinting, both standing still, close up, zoomed in, zoomed out, and still have one shot left to snap of whatever else your heart desires. New Gold Max film from Kodak. Take pictures further. If you've ever been stuck behind a slowpoke driver, you know the value of having extra passing power. With AC Delco Rapid Fire, the performance difference is in the electrodes. AC Delco Rapid Fire plugs give you 18% quicker throttle responsiveness, up to 27% smoother idle in gear, and faster, more consistent startups in all weather. So get yourself some AC Delco Rapid Fire plugs, then go ahead, pass the guy. Find these and other quality products at all pro and bumper-to-bumper -bumper auto parts stores. Country, high power country radio. 
Hi, I'm Paul Shad, bringing you Food Lions NASCAR Country. More with our special guest, John Anderson, coming up. But listen up. NASCAR Country wants to know about your NASCAR fan fantasies. Complete details are coming soon, but be thinking about your NASCAR fan fantasies and get set to win all expense paid racing weekends from your friends at NASCAR Country. Fast cars and hot country music on Food Lions NASCAR Country. I'm Kathy Martindale in our Nashville studio talking to John Anderson this weekend on this Thanksgiving weekend. Tell us about your songwriting. You wrote some of the songs on the new album, Taking the Country Back. Indeed, I did have some time to write for this particular album, and uh, I always uh, pretty much lean towards those albums after it's all said and done, the ones that... uh, that I did have some extra time to do some songwriting on. And in, in this case, uh, uh, we had some pretty good luck with some of the songs. Uh, wrote with a lot of good friends. Uh, my old friend Lionel Delmore, who I guess he and I have shared a song on probably every one of my albums, the best I recall. And uh, was able to write some with uh, Gary Scruggs, my old friend, and then uh, Dave Caldwell, a uh, guitar player from the group Bad Company. He and I were able to write a thing. and You are uh, so eclectic in your friendships. You know that? Well, you just never know who's going to come around and <laughs> and want to write a song. Mark yeah. Knopfler of Dire Straits and LaVon Helm. And <laughs> yes, indeed. We've been uh, very fortunate to, uh, to meet uh, several folks from other venues of music. And uh, indeed, it's always a pleasure to uh, sit, sit around and swap stories. Uh, Expand your horizons. Rock and roll stories, as well as uh, as well as hillbilly stories. <laughs> Taking the country back, the title track from your new album. This is a song that is like an anthem for your fans. This is this is John Anderson written all over it. Are you trying to incite a riot with this song? <laughs> oh, certainly not a riot. I just uh, I do think that our fans will really like it, and uh, basically that's the reason I did the song. Uh, that and the fact that I like the song a whole lot, and uh, really not trying to make any drastic kind of political statement as far as our industry or business or anything, or trying to change anything that's that's out there. I just like the song and like the way it sounded, basically. Hi, I'm John Anderson, and let's keep the NASCAR country music rolling. Holding steady at number six this week for the Kinleys on Food Lines NASCAR Country. I'm Paul Shad with details on how you can win officially licensed and authentic trackside merchandise of NASCAR from Jace Authentics and NASCAR Country. Just send us a postcard. Your name, address, and date, time, phone number need to be on there, along with the station you're listening to now, and send it to NASCAR Country, 301 East Boulevard, Charlotte, NC, 28203. We'll pick another winner this Tuesday. Remember, one entry per household, please. And stick around. We're coming right back with more from John Anderson and Lake Speed in our second hour. We'll also hear from this week's Country Frontrunner, plus the top five songs in NASCAR Country are on the way. NASCAR Country. Just how good is Team Monte Carlo? Well, just look at Terry Labonte. The man has won two drivers' championships and holds a record for the most consecutive NASCAR starts. So it's not surprising that Terry Labonte has influenced our entire culture. For instance, when someone is really doing well, what do we say? Well, we say they are really tearing it up, don't we? After Terry Labonte. And then there's everything we've named after the guy, like Terry Cloth, the fabric of choice for people who bathe, and all those movies like Ivan the Terrible and Mutiny on the Labonte. Now, let's consider Terry's car. His Chevy Monte Carlo, the reigning NASCAR champion. Do you realize that every person you've ever known named Carl was named after the Monte Carl O? Well, that's how popular Terry Labonte and the Monte Carlo are. They're the best. And some of that same technology in Terry's car is in the Monte Carlo for the street. Team Monte Carlo from Chevrolet. The cars more champions trust. Nobody knows what children with life-threatening diseases face every day. The question, the doubt, the pain. The Make-A-Wish Foundation helps them forget and gives them hope to fight a little harder, a little longer. I know. I'm Kevin Sharp, and I was a Wish kid, too. Please help the Make-A-Wish Foundation fulfill the dreams of children with life-threatening illnesses. Please make a donation to your local chapter or call 1-800-722-WISH. Nobody knows it but me. Hi, I'm Kathy Martindale, and you're with the fastest two hours in radio, NASCAR Country. Welcome back to the NASCAR Country Show. 
back for another hour of NASCAR's Roaring Thunder and Nashville's Country Lightning. I'm Kathy Martindale, and this is Food Lion's NASCAR Country. And I'm Paul Shad in our Charlotte studios with our genuine Chevrolet Country front runner, the artist outpacing the rest of the field, brought to you by Genuine Chevrolet, the cars more champions trust. Today's Country front runner has scored another big hit with this song, a country duet, Patty Loveless, with help from the legendary George Jones. It's called You Don't Seem to Miss Me on NASCAR Country. Hi, everyone. This is Benny Parsons, and thanks for listening to the two fastest hours in radio, NASCAR Country. The most fun at less than 200 miles per hour, Food Lines NASCAR Country. I'm Paul Shad in our Charlotte studios with Winston Cup driver Lake Speed. And Lake, this is the time of the year I guess folks think you guys are just kind of laying on some beach someplace. But 60, 70 days from now, you got Daytona staring you in the face. Yes, yeah, not that far off. We've already been to Daytona with the new Taurus. We're one of the very few people that can say that they've, uh, you know, again, I, I, I give my team the credit. The, these guys not only been running with limited budget and a uh, small number of people and everything, but they've already jumped out there and built new cars and uh, getting us ready for next season. We've already tested. We've got a second Taurus finished uh, already, and we're moving ahead and, and planning on uh, some more tests this year before this year's out for next year. So, I mean, we're already working on 1998. Every race that we go to this year uh, here at the end of the season has just been – everything's been experimental. We, we're trying new things, things that we would not do if uh, we were just trying to go – finished as high as we could in the points or something of that nature. We're taking a lot of shots and chances and trying things that otherwise we wouldn't do. We're, we're approaching every race like a test session. You mentioned the Taurus. What's the big difference between that and the T-Bird? Biggest thing I noticed, it just looks faster. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I like that. All right, you'll like this one, too, since you like to take chances. Here's a chance. It's a new one from Kenny Chesney on NASCAR Country. From the CD titled, I Will Stand, that's Kenny Chesney on Food Lions NASCAR Country. I'm Kathy Martindale in Nashville, where NASCAR Country returns with the four biggest songs, The Nashville Notebook, and more from John Anderson. Hey, Gil. You call for all this snow? No, oh, sir. Happened all by itself. Mm. Well, we should check the herd up at Branch Creek? Yeah. Grab some of this feed, throw it in the back of the Chevy. Yeah, sure thing. It's a good thing we came out here. That herd looks pretty raw boned. There's a scrawny little doggy up there. I see him. He looks kind of wobbly. You ain't gonna get us stuck out here, are you? Now just take her easy. I just, I just put her in the four low. Hey, there he is. Easy little fella. Okay. Yeah, just a little cold, that's all. Gil, let's haul this one back to his mama. You sure like doing this, don't you? Ain't doing it for the money. Imagine what you and your Chevy pickup can do. Dependable, long-lasting Chevy trucks. Wake up the winters, I'm ready to go to NASCAR country. High-power country. The most powerful two hours on radio are here on Food Lion's NASCAR Country. More of our holiday edition on the way after this week's number four song from Reba. Music from the fast lane. This is Food Lion's NASCAR Country. I'm Kathy Martindale in Nashville spending this Thanksgiving weekend with John Anderson who is, uh, well, I guess I guess you're on and off the road, but this weekend, of course, taking some time off to be with the family to eat turkey dinner with. Yes, indeed. All and right. uh, certainly enjoying that time off and, uh, and really just celebrating Thanksgiving, doing what we're supposed to do, giving thanks. I think that uh, that's going to be the John Anderson family motto for this weekend. Mine is packing on the pounds. So, <laughs> Well, all right. But I'm going to do that, too. <laughs> we were talking about some of your friends a little while ago. You include in that uh, uh, big circle of friendship Dale Earnhardt. My buddy Dale. All right. Now, talk about NASCAR country. He's NASCAR country, all right. Yeah. Uh, I just can't say enough about the opportunities to have met and spent time with Dale and uh, one year actually I was his special guest at the Daytona 500 uh, back about 92 or 93 and uh, it was just a big thrill for me uh, first off I had never been to a NASCAR race so that that being the first one was and especially getting all the VIP treatment uh, well how'd he do there <laughs> man I, I, he came in second 
Oh. Behind Sterling Marlin. And uh, what a race it was. And uh, He's got to carry you around all the races. Everybody was so <laughs> fired up. <laughs> I tell you, I, I told Dale's wife, Teresa, I said, I don't know how you people do this every Sunday. <laughs> I said I'd die of a heart attack. <laughs> so, so have y'all done other things together besides races and music? Actually, we never have. I've uh, seen Dale at uh, a couple of the award shows and just been able to speak. But now, hadn't been fishing uh, yet. Well, we've talked about it, mm-hmm. and we talked about uh, maybe doing a little hunting also. So. Just one day when he slows down, <laughs> and, when, and when I get a break in my schedule. We'll try and go fishing or hunting. Well, I sure when, look forward to the opportunity. When he pulls off on the shoulder of the road here, we'll... Yeah, uh, <laughs> when, he, when he pulls in for that uh, extra stop. long pit stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope he's listening today. We'll, we'll dedicate this to, to Mr. Number 3. Here's Swingin' for the Intimidator from John Anderson on NASCAR Country. Music from the fast lane on Food Lines NASCAR Country. I'm Paul Shad. We'll see if we can get Al Winter to open up his Nashville notebook in a few minutes. I'll be back also with Winston Cup driver Lake Speed, our guest this weekend, and the top three songs in NASCAR Country. But now, though, it's time for this week's NASCAR Quick Fact, brought to you by Food Lion, the official supermarket of NASCAR. Well, a couple of weeks ago at the Bush Series Banquet, we were happy to see Mike McLaughlin winning the NASCAR Winston Cup Scene Most Popular Driver Award. You may remember Mike was our guest earlier this year here on NASCAR Country and a guy who likes his motorcycles. Congrats, Mike. That's the quick fact. I'm Paul Shad. Ever spend half a day hailing a cab in the rain in a certain unnamed big city with that Statue of Liberty, and when you finally catch one, you ask in your most professional, non-touristy way, how much will this ride cost? And the guy scowls in his rearview mirror as he says, Upfront pricing? What do you think this is? That new GM Goodwrench Service Plus? And you think, hey, generous tip. So you go and get upfront pricing, plus a lifetime guarantee on parts and labor, plus courtesy transportation. And you think, GM Goodwrench Service Plus? The plus means better. Call 896-GM Plus for the select GM dealer near you. Ask for limited lifetime guarantee details. Rapid Fire Performance spark plugs are like a rocket booster for your car. Six, five. And now during the AC Delco Have a Blast sweepstakes, you could win ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Watch your mailbox for details, or call one eight hundred AC Delco. Eight hundred seven hundred ninety-nine. No purchase necessary, but you must be a legal U.S. resident, eighteen years or older. Eighteen, seventeen, sixteen. Blast off. Void where prohibited. Off rents twelve thirty one ninety seven. Welcome back to the NASCAR Country Show. The most powerful two hours on radio, Food Lines NASCAR Country. In at number three this week, George Strait and Today My World Slipped Away. The number three song of the week is just part of the most powerful two hours on radio, Food Lions NASCAR Country. I'm Kathy Martindale in Nashville, where two of the biggest hits are still to come. But now it's time for another look inside the Nashville Notebook. Al Winter is here with a detailed look at what's happening on Music Row. Thanks a lot, Kathy. Here we are, the busiest shopping weekend of the year. Hey, and since we're all in a festive holiday mood, thought maybe some gift suggestions would be appropriate for some favorite country stars that you might want to buy for this year. I mean, hey, no use waiting until the last minute, right? Let's do the ladies first. First one, frankly, is no-brainer. How about a watch with real big hands for Mindy McCready? That way, there's no chance she'd ever get on stage late ever again. And maybe something practical this year for Winona. You remember her on the award show? Well, this one ought to do it perfect. It's a new 3,900 horsepower blow dryer, powered by the same jet engine as used in the Air Force's famed stealth fighter. For the CMA Female Vocalist of the Year, Trisha Yearwood, a self-help book called How to Dress Your Husband So He Won't Embarrass You. And of course, we can't forget the kids during the holidays, and that takes us over to Leanne Rimes, who is really hard to buy for. I mean, what do you give a kid who gets a million a year for her allowance? Answer? The new See and Say Brian White Says. And I even got the perfect thing for Trace Adkins' wife, Rhonda. It's really good. Step ladder, so she can kiss him goodbye when he gets on his bus. Now, the guys, who frankly, I think, are a whole lot easier to buy for, take Garth Brooks. Here it is, perfect gift. A handy little trapdoor kit, which he can install into the chair of whoever is running Capitol Records. $59.95, guy's happy. A little tougher for Brooks and Dunn, but I figure if we all pooled our money, maybe... Let's say 10 bucks a piece. Can we agree on that? If we do that, we can make Kicks and Ronnie's hairy little faces light up with joy at Christmas by giving them Charlotte Motor Speedway. I think Bruton will cut us a deal. Let's see. Here you go. Vince Gill. This is easy. Single. 
more time for himself, so I suggest a certificate good for one free round of golf at the Baywatch Country Club. And lastly, a uh, little shopping tip for the fishermen on your list, maybe like a Tracy Bird, available at all of your Army Navy surplus stores, fits right by the trolling motor, and would boost Tracy's catch like mad, providing, of course, the other fishermen aren't upset by the use of depth charges. Just try to be helpful. I'm Al Winter with the Thanksgiving edition of the Nashville Notebook on NASCAR Country. Thanks, Al. Moving on for another lap, here's Colin Ray. This is Colin Ray, and thanks for being a part of the fastest two hours in radio, NASCAR Country. Fast cars, hot country music. This is Food Lions NASCAR Country. I'm Kathy Martindale in Nashville, and we have a great time each weekend with the brightest stars in country music and the fastest drivers of NASCAR. And we're very thankful to the millions of great listeners like you and 330 great country stations in the U.S. and Europe that carry NASCAR Country. If you enjoy this program, please take a minute to call or write the station you're listening to right now and thank them for carrying the fastest show on radio, NASCAR Country. Baby, don't look back. Keep moving straight ahead. Get all those pretenders out of your head. When it comes down to fun, when it comes down there's only one number one in the universe Nothing else is a Pepsi Nothing else has a clue Nothing else is a Pepsi It's the choice for me and you Nothing else is a Pepsi Anytime, anywhere Nothing else is a Pepsi And it's not even fair Nothing else is a Pepsi Nothing else is a Pepsi Nothing else is a Pepsi Hello, this is Jeff Gordon. Would you like to help save a life? It's very possible you could. Maybe your marrow would be a match for any one of 3,000 people who each day are in urgent need of a marrow transplant, an important life-saving procedure. We in the NASCAR family hope you will help. Just call 1-800-MARROW-2. The test is simple. You could help save someone's life. For more information, call 1-800-MARROW-2. Welcome back to Food Lions NASCAR Country. I'm Kathy Martindale in Nashville, wrapping up this Thanksgiving weekend show with John Anderson so he can get back to the house and uh, chow down on some more turkey <laughs> with the family. I mean. <laughs> no, I'm just getting hungry thinking about it. Oh, your new album, Taking the Country Back, is just wonderful. It's got a mixture of some of the greatest songs that uh, Nashville songwriters have written, along with some stuff that you've written that is fabulous imagery, oh. like the song Sarah. Oh, wonderful Thank lines you, in there. Thank you, Kathy, so much. I appreciate that. And an old Van Morrison song, Brown Eyed Girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had a good time with that in the studio. Actually, it was really fun to go in and recut that. Uh, Whose idea? Keith and I had decided to do a remake, and, and we were down to a couple of three songs, and my wife, Jamie, uh, threw her, cast her vote in uh, for the Brown Eyed Girl. Beautiful lady. You've got two little girls, too. How old are they? I have one 17-year-old and one 6-year-old. Oh. Uh, Indeed, uh, I have to give thanks every day for those girls. I tell you, we're uh, life wouldn't be the same without them. Well, I know it's only Thanksgiving, but you've got to be thinking ahead to Christmas and always. Yeah, yeah I'm thinking about Santa as for, long as for the Jamie little one. Jamie gets all our shopping done for us. <laughs> Dad keeps having this resurgence in career. Just uh, I know. I wish I could just time. have one one good one. <laughs> <laughs> you you keep bringing up some new generations. I mean, really. <laughs> oh. Thank you for being on NASCAR Country today, and happy Thanksgiving. Same to you, and it's always a pleasure. All right, John Anderson with Small Town on NASCAR Country. Fast cars and hot country music. Hi, I'm John Anderson. We're kicking it up here in NASCAR Country. <laughs> 
music from the fast lane on Food Lions NASCAR Country. I'm Paul Shad in Charlotte, wrapping it up with driver Lake Speed. And like a lot of folks have already enjoyed their Thanksgiving, what about you and your family? Well, because of the hectic schedule that we've been going through this year, and especially here at the end of the year with a lot of testing and a lot of things going on, uh, we hadn't had a whole lot of time to think that far ahead, to be honest with you. But uh, Thanksgiving normally for us is a time where we try to get as much of our family together as we can and uh, just be thankful and really reflect back on all the blessings we have and the things that we have to be thankful for and really put those things in proper perspective and I think that's uh, you know that's really what that day is all about is putting things in proper perspective and realizing how blessed we are especially everybody that lives in this country. On that note Lake we want to thank you for being part of our holiday edition of NASCAR Country. I uh, appreciate it thank you so much for having us. Stay with us the number one song in NASCAR Country is coming up uh, sir, I notice you seem to be in a hurry. Our pit crew. Oh, a NASCAR guy, huh? Yep. So you like things to happen fast. Uh-huh. So you come to Food Lion because... They're fast. What makes them fast? They only have what I need. There's no electronics department. No electronics? Wife wrote me up a list, see? No stereo speakers, no jewelry, no video rentals. I need detergent, green beans, and bacon. Right, so Food Lion gets you in and out quicker because... They don't waste my time with aisles of stuff I don't need. I need bacon, I find bacon. Mm, I see. That's probably why they're the official supermarket of NASCAR, the Speedy Service. And you're a big fan of speedy service. Do you know any slow pit guys? They're looking for work. My point exactly. Hold on. <laughs> wow, fixed that wheel pretty fast. Almost beat my previous record. So for a speedy guy like you looking for extra low prices on all of your favorite NASCAR brands, this is the place. If it's good enough for NASCAR, it's good enough for me. Bacon. Oh, got it. <laughs> Food Lion, where NASCAR shops for groceries. In the beginning, there was light and shadows. And with the light and shadows came confusion among the picture takers. Which film do I use for which light? The cries of the confused were heard. And so became Kodak Gold Max film. Kodak Gold Max is the right film for any condition. Now, if the picture takers are in the light or the shadows, they can always have great pictures. And it was good. Kodak Gold Max film. Great pictures in any situation. Kodak. Take pictures further. Welcome back to the NASCAR Country Show. Two of the fastest hours in radio. The checkered flag is out, and we're making our victory lap on NASCAR Country. This is Paul Shad thanking our guests, Driver Lake Speed, ESPN analyst Benny Parsons, and in Nashville, John Anderson. And thank you for listening. And I'm Kathy Martindale, celebrating in the winner's circle with this week's number one song from Clint Black. The second number one from the new CD called Nothing But the Tail Lights on NASCAR Country. NASCAR Country is a production of Morris International. No rebroadcast of this program in whole or part is allowed without the express written consent of Morris International. I'm Paul Shad. And this is Kathy Martindale. Join us next week. NASCAR Country. Hi, I'm Paul Shad in the Charlotte studios of NASCAR Country. And I'm Kathy Martindale in our Nashville studios. And we hope you'll join us this first weekend of December as NASCAR Country presents Brian White. Join us this weekend. It's the fastest show on radio. NASCAR Country. Hi, I'm Paul Shad in the Charlotte studios of NASCAR Country. And I'm Kathy Martindale in our Nashville studios. And we hope you'll join us this first weekend of December as NASCAR Country presents Brian White. Join us this weekend. It's the fastest show on radio.